Hi friends, how are you guys doing? So I had a couple questions on my comments regarding the titration schedule of when I went up with Ozempic. And so I just kind of wanted to review this and preface this by saying, first of all, I'm not a doctor and I'll put this probably in every video that I ever post, but I just wanted to be sure to put that out there. And your doctor may prescribe you a different schedule as to when you go up in your Ozempic. All I can talk about is when I did and, and kind of how that worked for me. So I started off at four weeks at 0.25 um, and then I migrated up to 0.50. My understanding is that these initial doses are to kind of get you used to the medication and so you can start getting used to any side effects that you might have and I'll talk about side effects in a couple minutes but it really is just to start building it up in your system. So what I did was four weeks at 0.25 and then two weeks at 0.50. I will say at the beginning of 0.25, I immediately started feeling hunger kind of quelling a little bit. And it was interesting because when I migrated up to 0.50, I felt like I was getting hungrier. And I don't know what that's about. I think it's different for everyone. This might be the case for you. Um, but in all the groups I'm in, everybody has talked about like, just do the schedule that your doctor prescribes and you may start to feel hungry at different levels. You might not feel anything for the first four to six weeks, but just to stay the course and then move on. So then I moved up to 1.0 for four weeks. Those are when some of my side effects kind of started to kick in, but I started to notice more feeling like I could hear my hunger cues better and feeling full. So 1.0... I think is when I started to really see some movement in my behaviors and also in the scale. So I did four weeks at 1.0 and then I did two weeks at 1.5. Again, still the same, um, navigated through uh, my side effects, a few side effects that I had. And then finally I have arrived at 2.0. I have done one week at 2.0 um, this coming Friday will be my second week. And just to speak to side effects for a moment, I do have side effects, which for me are generally kind of waves of nausea that kind of pop out of nowhere. And I always feel tired the day after I take my shot. So what happens is I take my shot at nighttime. I figured that out pretty quickly. Like if I take my shot at nighttime, I'm going to probably be able to at least get through my day. So on my day that I take my injection, I take my, I take my injection at night and I sleep and then I wake up. Um, and although I do feel pretty tired, I feel like it's more manageable than when I was taking my injection at the beginning of the day in the mornings, which is how I started at 0.25 and 0.50. I have waves of nausea that come and go, um, but I will also say that I usually only have the worst side effects on my first shot when I have gone up. So for 2.0, I did kind of feel nauseous. I felt really super duper tired, but then it kind of wears off happened with me um, at 1.5 and also at 1.0. I get a week of just kind of feeling gross, feeling really full, um, getting headaches. I do have like almost like a dull headache as one of my side effects and the fatigue and then just occasionally waves of nausea. The constipation is always there though. And I am taking magnesium every night um, and drinking a lot of water. I talked a little bit before about how I've been trying to drink more water. Still a huge challenge. I'm going to post about that a little later. But so far, I'm feeling pretty good. 2.0, I really feel good at. Um, I'm assuming I will probably go up one more time. Um, but we'll talk about that when I get to my appointment in March. So just kind of wanted to talk a little bit about the titration schedule. I hope you guys like and subscribe this and please share my channel with anybody that is going to be going through the Azempic journey themselves. I'm feeling good. I'm feeling good. And I just love all the comments and I really am excited that we're like building a community here of people who are going through um, the same things. So thank you all and I'll post again soon. Thanks.